Hello there, and welcome to another Starfield video. So we got a, an interesting one today. So we're looking at another unique vehicle in that this this vehicle itself, the base carryall, is not unique. It's just a well, it, well, it is unique in a sense. But the what I'm looking at today was brought to my attention by uh, Islagor, um, one of the friends of the channel in the Discord. Uh, there's a unique variant. So in so let me let me back a little bit. So there's derelict versions of ships that you can find in the the kind of the in the the kind of the I was going to say the wasteland, but in in space. And usually these ships are damaged beyond repair. Sometimes they're not, and they tend to have unique interiors, which is kind of interesting. That's why I like to cover it. But this one has a has a unique interior, as the title says in the thumbnail. It has a unique one by one hab that we're going to take a look at. Now, forewarning, I'm not sure if you can actually get this ship. I know there is some derelict ships that you can you can you can acquire. I spawned this in with console commands, and while I was able to explore the entire ship, I had to use a console command to to take it over because the the bridge was or the the cockpit was like it was rendered inoperable. So I'm not sure if you can actually acquire this. If you can't, it's a massive boon because it, it has a pretty unique interior. But if not, we're just going to kind of be using it to highlight, again, some of the unique interiors that Bethesda have in the game that they haven't given us just yet. So we'll do a normal review anyway as we get to it. So stat-wise, um, it's got a fuel of 700, which is pretty decent. It's got a hull of 774, carrying capacity of 3440. Not too bad. It's got a B-Class React with 18 power, crew of 5, 18 light year jump range, A30 shield, 14 laser, and 30, 23 ballistic. So it's got a pair of lasers and a single ballistic cannon there. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's it's a pretty interesting ship. Like I said, you can't buy this, and if you're interested in the HAB, we'll, we'll do some testing with the HAB. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, let's look into it, shall we? So it's just, for the most part, it's just a normal carry-on from the exterior. But it's the interior where it kind of starts to shine a little bit. So we'll enter through the back. Now, as always, we will do some testing. But one of the things with a lot of these kind of unique ships, like, for example, the party ship sh uh, review I did, the interior stays the same until you try and change it. And once you change it, that's when things get a bit funky. So we'll test that as we go. So, start off, we have a one-by-one one storage room. Nothing unnormal there. And then we have a... We have this interesting room here. So, this is a... Again, unique interior. So, this is a mix of an all-in-one berth. And a... A control station, which is pretty interesting. To my knowledge, this is the first ship that I've seen that does this. I need to go back and look at some of the um, some of the all in one or some of the um, derelict ships just to kind of confirm. So again, this is a pretty cool uh, interior by itself. Like the fact that like this would fit perfectly in a kind of a if you're trying to make a kind of a small like kind of you know home ship like a B class. It'd be amazing to have this kind of mishmash, you know, half control station, half living quarters sort of thing. And then if we keep heading on through here, we have a little one by one. This is some storage options here. We got some contraband and some storage. Now, <clears throat> like with what I was saying, with this kind of quest line or with this ship, uh, you're basically supposed to come in here and it's meant to be more of a dungeon. You come in here, this door is going to be locked. You will either, you can unlock it. It was only like a, a hard lock, I think, a digi lock. And then we come up here and we have uh, a one by one. And then past here we have, again, we have a workstation, but it's a unique workstation. It only has a research lab and an industrial workbench. Again, another unique interior. Very, very cool. <coughs> and then finally, uh, we, we have the bridge, but we'll get to that in a minute. So yeah, like I said, normally when you try and take this ship, it'd be like, no, you can't take this ship because it's damaged. But I use console commands. So now, the, obviously, there's some really cool interiors here, like I showed, but there's one in particular that I want to highlight. Sorry, a bit of a pause there. So, yeah, so if we come up here, 
in this one by one and you'll notice something. This one by one has some beds in it. Which is really interesting. Now something to note, I will say, um, a lot of the interior pieces have kind of, um, this was kind of more detailed with random clutter and stuff, but because I sold the ship, the clutter went away. You can see in the, in the thumbnail what it looks like itself. Like it has just, I think it has a globe there and some other stuff. But yeah, this, this one by one is insane because like, I think a lot of us have been saying on the discord again, plug the discord. That it'd be nice to have some more one by like functional one by one habs. Now there is a mod for that, um, but if you're on Xbox, you know you don't have access to mods currently. But also the fact that these exist in game, it's like it wouldn't be that difficult for Bethesda to give us this as a function, you know, like one by one like bed or living quarters, you know, or you know something. Now if we go up one more, we have another one by one, but this is just a normal one by one. See, so yeah, that's kind of the main the main kind of thing behind it. Now we're gonna we're gonna really quickly we'll take her off so she performs like normal, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll go and we'll tear it down, and I will double check to see if um if it keeps those when you modify it. I'm gonna assume it doesn't let you keep them. But yeah, let's see. Let's let's take her off. <clears throat> Again, this is kind of more so because we we know how these form. This is more so to see. Because one of the things with the party ship is it didn't have any actual functioning engines or anything because... Okay, so first thing I can see, no grav drive. As you can see there, grav drive does a function, which makes me feel like this is not a ship you're supposed to be able to fly. So let's take it off, which means it's probably not going to have... Thrusters are not going to work when we take off. Okay, so landing thrusters do function. Okay, and the back thrusters function. Now this, interesting. As usual, I have a perk that increases my power by five. So for the sake of this review, we're not going to be using five power. So let's see. In okay, so we're we've taken off. Our little engine's a bit bit underpowered to say the least. Okay, so the engine does function. So weapon wise, we've got lasers, and we got ballistics. Base speed is one forty. I don't know why it's 140. That's an interesting one, because we're using... Oh no, it's using some... Okay, yeah, okay, cool. The reason it's 140 is we're using a B-class. There's a B-class mixed in there. Boost speed is going to probably be around 520. Yep, 520. Full agility test. It's not very agile, as you can see. Very badly agile, actually. All right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty now. We're gonna head down to the planet and we're gonna do a tear down, and then we're gonna kind of just see if uh, we can get access to those pieces. Okay, so before we do our usual tear down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just strip some of these pieces aside, and we're going to see. So this is the, the Deimos Companion. This is the normal one, but this is the one we want. This this Deimos Companion one by one. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that back there. And we're basically just going to... So we've got our workshop. We're just going to... What's the error? Error ship is unattached module. So we're just going to save it real quick. And see... Oh no, let's put... We need to put something on just to kind of highlight that we have changed stuff. We'll put this here. Now, usually in these situations, the ship will kind of reset its interior. So one of the first things we can check is check if the grav drive. The grav drive is now a grav drive, which means the ship has been modified. So we'll go inside and we'll see if we still have those interiors. Okay, yes, yeah. so as you can see, if you save the ship at all, we lose access to those interiors, which is a bit, bit, bit of a letdown, but I suppose it is what it is. And again, the control station is just a normal control station. So all the interiors kind of go away, which is pretty, I mean, it is what it is. So we're going to go and do our normal teardown now, just to kind of, you know, as we do. 
All right, so we've got the ship split up. So we'll start at the front here, or at the back. So we've, the top layer, we've got a uh, SAE 5330 engine from Slayton Aerospace, B-Class, three power, 17,670 engine thrust, 4830 maneuvering thrust. And then on top of that, we have an Osiris 23B shield generator from Protective System, B-Class, eighth power, 830 shield. Then we have a Deimos Companionway one by one, we have a SGD-2100 grab drive from Slayton Aerospace, B-Class, 10 power, 25 jump thrust, which was 18 light years. Uh, DC-301 fast and ignition reactor from Deep Core, B-Class, 11 power, 52 or 570 hull. And then we've got four M30 Ulysses Helium-3 Dogstar uh, tanks from Dogstar. They're 100 each because there's 400 fuel. Structural piece at the front here, we have a Deimos Cowling 4. We have two Deimos Wing A's, a port and a starboard. Two Deimos uh, hull A's. We have a Deimos Spine A, a Deimos Spine B, and Deimos Spine C. Two Deimos Wing C's, one port, one starboard, and then two Nova Cowlings, one L, a port, and a starboard. Middle of the vessel, we have our DS 20.2 Phobos cockpit from Deimos 260 cargo, two crew. Top of that, we have a Mauler 106T cannon from Horizon Defense, B class 1040 range. 2.5 fire rate, 23 hull damage, and 4 power. Behind that, we've got a Deimos Workshop 2x1, 2 NG-15 landing gear with uh, 2 thrust each, and then these, we've got 2 Dragon 4-1 lasers, Rise and Defense, B-Class, 1300 range, 2.5 fire rate, 23 shield damage, and 3 power. Next, we have the Deimos Companionway 1x1, Deimos All in One Berth 2x1, and Deimos Companionway 1x1. We've got another one of those SA-53 B-Class engines. We've got two SA-4110 engines for Slayton Aerospace, the A-Class variant. Two power, 12,220 engine thrust, 2930 maneuvering thrust. Got two more landing gear, the NG-15 variant. The, they're the, the variant that doesn't have the engines on the front. Um, two more thrust. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 300 CM ballast cargo hold from Sex and Shield System, 320. Then we've got two more M50, or two M40 Ulysses Helium 3 tanks, sorry, 150 each. Then on the bottom of the vessel, uh, the back here, we have a shipbed landing bay from Tayo, a Deimos storeroom 1x1, a Deimos control station 2x1, a Deimos companionway 1x1. We've got two more landing gear. We've got uh, two of the 320CB landing gear from Deimos, three. Thrust. We got one, two, three, four, five, six Panoptes uh, de Gamma 1000 cargo holds, 210 each. And then we have a Deimos Hole and a Deimos Belly 4. Oh, whoops. So, all in all, it's it's a pretty interesting vehicle. Like, or ship. The base version is pretty cool. Um, but the thing is, like I said, that stands out with this is that it has unique interiors. And I've, I've covered a, a few ships that have unique interiors. But this is probably one of the coolest ones in terms of having a unique one by one. Like <clears throat> Bethesda have said that we're going to be getting upgrade updates uh, reg regarding the ship builder. So hopefully that means new parts. And it would be really nice if we could get access to some of these unique parts. Like we already have the Frontier version of the 2 by one Nova Galactic uh, living quarters or the all one berth. But if you lose that, like say if you delete the ship through various means, you can't get it back. So it'd be nice to, you know, like imagine, let's say you could have the um, that one as a as an object, uh, as a as a choice. You get this this one by one here that says it's a companion way, but it'd be more like a kind of a one by one living quarters. Getting access to this control station that's also an all in one berth. Would be pretty cool. The workshop that's different. Like it's just it it's it's something that Bethesda should give us rather than needing to use mods. But anyway, that's it for today's video. I'm gonna probably do a few more of these just, just to go over some of these derelict ships because I've kind of glanced over them in the past when I for gameplay. I never realized that they have unique interiors. So yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this sort of content and check out some of my other videos. Bye bye.